Howdy folks, I've been Controller here back with another thrilling installment of Crusader Kings 2. It is time once again to turn to this fine series, uh, which I have left on the shelf a bit too long. It's gotten a little stale, a little chewy, but uh, I'm happy to be playing it again. Uh, I've gotten some very helpful advice from commenters out there as far as what I should do, how I should deal with certain situations, particularly up north, and basically the solution is to just give the Duchy of Alania to... Ushisha! Ushisha! Uh, because that will alleviate some of the concerns that people have about me being all power hungry and shit. So that's a that's a thing I will be doing. Um, it will also diminish the power of this jerk, which I think is a good thing. Because this guy is his vassal. So there you go. Now, um, an, a, a concern was raised about me doing this while being in control of this county, because this, I believe, is a de jure part of Alania. So it is. So, um, maybe in the future I will give that away to somebody, but I don't know if I want to just give it to a Shisha. I could give it to one of my sons, but I don't know if that would mess things up or not. Interesting, in interesting times. Uh, I'm gonna put that on the back burner for a year or two, because I could give it to Furkerber. My uh, next eldest son. So we'll, we'll, we'll think about that. Like I said, we'll, we'll let that marinate for a bit. Because meanwhile, we have an issue down south. We have a peasants' revolt down in Antioch. So I'm going to go ahead and raise some troops to deal with that. Raise my troops, because my troops are super great. And then... You? Oh, you love me. How are, how are we doing? I, I forgot to... Yeah what I thought. And that is actually plenty. Will he even give me troops? I don't think he has any. That uh, revolt is obviously badly timed because of the whole war thing that we fought earlier. Uh, we'll go ahead and just rendezvous there. And uh, that should do it. Playing, Ma. Where'd you come from? I don't remember raising you, but I guess, I guess that works. <laughs> it's gonna take a long ass time for you to get where you need to go, but it's okay. Um. Oh. Oh, hello. Okay. Captain Comb over here. Uh, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Why you do this thing? That's not how you military. Oh, he's gonna win. Well, shut my mouth. Hey, all right, my vassals are pretty cool. Good job, guys. Uh, you just gonna follow? Yeah, I'll just let you deal with this then. Dealt with. Uh, maybe I should keep them up though, because. The Byzantines are. Fine. <laughs> I mean, if they get wiped out, I guess, uh... That's fascinating. Okay. Handsomely done. <laughs> okay, that was easy. Let's go ahead and dismiss you guys. No blood, no foul. You know, I probably ought to... Oh, oh yeah, right, we're hunting. Let's go for it. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, this is my patriarch anyway. Uh, I don't really care to meddle with him. He's doing God's work, as it were. Okay. Now, I did not kind of reacquaint myself with the greater diplomatic situation. He loves me. Of course, the Byzantines, I believe, were at war with... That's right, these guys here. So that's interesting. That's an interesting development, but it's not something that I can really do too much about. Georgi. Welcome to the family. 
educate child with. God, I just don't want these kids to be, uh... Is that my patriarch? He's a wicked priest? Oh, we might have to do something about that then. <laughs> uh, anywho. <laughs> Let's see, who should we educate this kid under? Under whom should we educate this kid? Grammatical lessons. Oh, boy. There you go. I like that. Um... Yeah, so he could be landed. I could... Okay, I'm gonna try this. And it could be setting me up for a world of hurt later on down the road. Because if I give him this landed title... I'm going for it. Now let's give you... I could give my son... Yeah, so that will go to him. That should go to him. Now... These two counties are not going to him as vassals because I'd essentially be snatching him away from another duke. Now, it doesn't matter that this guy rightfully should have these as his two vassals. Uh, this guy already has them, so that would be something that would have to be pressed in war or dealt with diplomatically. Unlikely, but um, could happen. I could transfer vassalages, I think. Is that between two vassals? I can't remember. I don't really get into that level of the game too often because I'm a stupid man, but... Let's go ahead and uh, set this up, because now, yeah, my son is that guy's vassal, which is funny, but <laughs> that's fine. Okay, so we need to actually have people on our, our uh, council, meanwhile. My brother Marab, um, who does not care for me, I think I shied away from that before because I don't want him to concoct claims on me or otherwise subvert the kingdom. Not you. Who's Nathan? Just go for it. You get down with your bad self. He likes me well enough. Um, I will go ahead and have him study technology. Cause I love technology. Not as much as you, you see. Always and forever. What is happening? Uh, Chancellor. Chancellor, Danceler. What do we do? What's this? Scouring the countryside for your prey, you come upon a lone rider. As you strike up conversation, it turns out he also hunts the same great animal that you are after. His lack of success thus far seems to match yours, but he invites you to talk and share experiences. Uh, you can just get a courtier, or... I guess we'll look at the, the dude. Uh, the, the court... Well, this guy's all right. Nurse the hunter. I won't give up. I won't back down. Um. Hey, so what is this war that they're engaged in? Who are what? It's a holy war for Jazeera. How are they not getting their shit packed in here? <clears throat> Excuse me. So they don't even have the Abbasids helping them. Are they... Let's deal with their religious situation. Yeah, they're Sunni. Are these guys Sunni still? Yes. This guy's terrible. Um, let's see if I can get a different patriarch in. This guy isn't very good. Oh, but he just... Saved by the bell. That isn't actually... That's not actually the right term, is it? <laughs> There was no bell rung there, he just did a good job. Uh, he is our most effective patriarch, unfortunately, so. Or clergyman, I guess. So, wow, we're looking pretty solid on the orthodoxy here. Let's go ahead and uh, get Tyrone. I really ought to figure out how to pronounce that. Um, there. Excellent. And is Antioch still. Okay, good. Wow, Javaki. That's a great name. Um, Marab is not satisfied and keeps asking for more toys to play with. He's also a huge wimp. Um, there 
you go. Kind of an interesting religious patchwork that we have in our neighborhood. It's the International District. Uh, what? Why? What did you do? Has he got a plot going? I don't know. I've never really done much with the decisions. I probably ought to have like a feast or something like that, or a fair. I think we could do a fair. Sometimes they're just, it just seems like a lot of effort to go to to get not much of a reward. I'm pretty sure that that's kind of the, the uh, consensus. It is something, the only time you really end up doing a lot of that shit is when you're over here in Ireland or something like that. When there's just basically nothing else to do for a while, uh, while you're getting things kind of set up. At least that's what I've found. Uh, can I, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, yes please. Now did I lose that counterfract retinue in a war? I thought I had already created one. Um, well, we're getting one. And how close am I to my next? We're at 1900 out of 2548. Doesn't that improve it? Yes, uh, but we could... How's our situation looking? Oh, we could upgrade our counterfract grounds and Panty skirty. Beg your pardon. How did I not notice that place name before? Let's go ahead and actually do that there. So that's level. That's at a level one. These are level twos. Okay, yeah. Let's go for it. This doesn't really add too much, but do I have any way of adding retinue? Actually, look in my main holding first. Not particularly. Uh, right. The training grounds, that's what does it. So let's take a look. Okay, we'll just upgrade that for now. Gotta spend money to make horses. So, oh hey. Easy tiger. I'm kind of surprised that the uh, Caliphate isn't helping out here. I wonder if they've got, if they're preoccupied. Oh. Now, is this the actual Selchuk thing that's happening? Selchuk, Selchuk. Uh, let's take a look at that. I noticed that earlier. Aha. Conquest of Merv. Merv the Perv. am I doing? Uh, right. Well, I guess I can find out where that is, I guess. We'll just let it, let it go. I don't really care too much right now. I'm just curious, though, I guess, because I could Holy War. Now, hang on. What is their Holy War for? They're winning, too. Um... Just because they didn't join in this war doesn't mean they won't join in the one that I declare. Also. Um, so, Jazeera, let's take a look at that duchy first before we get too excited. So, we could take. That's kind of confusing. We could take this little sliver. This is Mosul. Uh, but that does have Byzantine. Or not Byzantine. Oh, it does. No, no, no. It has no Orthodox people whatsoever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would be probably bad. Uh, I was thinking that that might alleviate some of the problems with that. Trade duchies. I can Holy War for Antioch. And get this little nubbin. Iskenderun. Isn't that in one of the Indiana Jones movies? I don't know. Uh, let's take a look. Now let's also take a look at the Dutch. Or no, no, no. God bless it. So these are solidly uh, Sunni. Suddenly Sunni. It's a hit um, sitcom. So they're already holy warring for that. I could try to take a little chunk of that. Really, this is probably our best bet. 
let's take another quick look at the manpower situation here. Now that the thing is, is that that doesn't that includes ones that they've already got raised. But we could uh, handle that regardless. Doesn't matter. It's just one county. It's a decent county, and it is. Um, it's monothelite, so I could probably convert them. Oh boy, a lot of deliberation, a lot of decisions being made here, folks. Or, well, not really, because I haven't decided on anything. Um, very interesting stuff. I think I might want to do this. It's, again, it's one of the reasons I like to get little pieces down here. It's because it's just that much more that they can take away from me without getting into my core territory here. They haven't really holy ward for Antioch, though, so I don't know if that's... If I should just go for the whole hog and try to get, like, this duchy here. What is this one? Aleppo. I think I'm gonna let it lie, because it's just a single county. And if they do get deeply ensnared, plus we can always do it later. Because they're still fighting, we can still make this decision in a little while. The Byzantines are actually a significant threat. Let's not forget. County too. It's in pretty good shape. Like this one, to be honest with you. We had that at one point, if I recall correctly. I just don't want to take a bunch of uh, Muslim counties and have them be constantly revolting. <laughs> They'll always be upset with me. Um, how's our whole, uh, authority? Moral authority is actually the best it's been in quite some time. Okay. Um. Just looking at that for no particular reason. More tech, please. Uh, Count of Ani has a claim on that, apparently. That's interesting. Hmm. Just reading, don't mind me. Um, They're just massive, is the problem. <laughs> we really need to have some unrest there to have any chance at working away at it. I think it is going to be something that we'll just have to chisel away at. We won't be able to... Good God, man. We won't be able to just take huge swaths of it like I would like to, I guess. Um, you can marry your cousin. 
<laughs> uh huh. Wait, how's she lowborn? How's she like half? Oh, okay, okay. We're not really related. Um, are you? Oh, that's my son. <laughs> I don't know how anything works. Dan Yachu. It's a Pokemon that uh, shoots Danish furniture at people. Um, these guys have proven problematic. Um, a little bit every now and then, anyways. He's also a monothelite, which concerns me. Just go for it. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't really matter to me. Although she is an elusive shadow, I did just gift that <laughs> to somebody who is a possible rival. I doubt that there'll be a problem. <laughs> uh, we're having a good time. Uh, Bishop Sarkis of Glack. That's the best. That's just the best. I didn't know we had a Bishopric of Glack. That's been half the fun of this Let's Play, is just <laughs> seeing all these goofy names that come up. Okay, Marab. This is Marab the weenie. Um, yeah, why not? Is my son married? I forgot to even... We don't have a warning for it, I guess. Oh, he just went ahead and picked his own wife. Oh. Oh, well, wait, did I do this? I don't remember how anything works. He probably, wait, I probably betrothed him and then I granted him land. I remember all this, okay. Eh, no. Um. Or I kind of remember all this. I vaguely remember this. Right, because, yeah, because she's a genius and I want him to have tiny evil genius children. Let's look back at this. I really don't like having a non-contiguous uh, realm, too, is the thing. So it, it's one of those paradox game OCD symptoms, I guess. I could... They're still at war. I wonder if things kind of shifted out of their favor or something. Nope, they're still winning decisively. Because I did see a cadre of troops, the Meneids here, actually. They're from down here. Uh... How's it going? Not good. Uh... And are you still... Aha! Aha! Okay, so that's, uh... That's a thing. What happened with, uh... Um, Selchuk. I could find him, I guess. Whatever, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, because I think... Uh, even if I had declared war, it would not have gone well for us. Now, this is interesting, though, because we could still end up having a weakened Byzantine Empire, which would be just fine. Do you have any... It's hard ass. No, he's, not, he's not getting killed anytime soon. Hey. Faithful and trusted hunting dog has finally taken his last breath. Long has he served you since you first received him as a puppy, but now it's time to bury your old friend. Aww. I could have a full funeral. I'm gonna just do that. Poor little guy. Alright. <laughs> Let's take a look at his realm tree. I'm just doing a little plotting here. Find me. This guy, you dickamos. Oh, you docamos. Well, he dicks a most too. I grew up more of our invitation with Chancellor Bishop Javaki. Uh, his slothfulness makes him go to extreme lengths to avoid having to do anything. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna give him a chat. Uh, I finished talking to him. I didn't really expect him to talk back. The anger that filled him fast was vented immediately. I ignored him and left him barely able to speak. Gosh, we got we done got told. Um, well, that's not that big of a deal. Anywho, uh, let's see. Anybody I can kill? Hi, Crown Authority. Yeah, I, I wish you the best with that. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna kind of go through and figure out who I can kill, if anybody. Really sorry about the noise in the background, by the way. You probably noticed this in my other playthroughs of other things. Uh, that's my the fan on my heater, and it's uh, it blows. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's it's really loud. It um, it's definitely noticeable. Uh, you're in Sicily, so that's not terribly helpful. Hey, Cyprus. Um, think about that. You. Your family, at least, has been a huge problem. Um, my, it's requested a lower rank vassal it should serve him rather than me directly. My vassal, no. Oh, did that guy die in prison? Did I let that guy die? I haven't been paying any attention. Yeah, he did die in prison. Princess Dali. She's an intricate web weaver. She stutters. Okay. <laughs> There's a joke somewhere there, but I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> and some guy is not worth an ox. That's just marvelous. What am I doing? I want rank, please. Danyachu is now the Duke of Aksum! Duke of Wag! Wow, these are great. These are all great names. <laughs> Oh boy, Alberto! Look at that! Uh, God. I wonder if I could get her. No, that just exports a claim to somebody else. I was thinking of marrying her off to someone in the Byzantine Empire, but you got to be careful about that. Oh, and they did win that holy war. Meanwhile, <laughs> of course they did, though. Yeah, these guys might be about done. This, this Shia Caliphate that arose. Um, she probably ought to consider just marrying for an alliance. Is this guy married? Yeah. Mm, well, well, we'll think on it. Actually, we'll go ahead and break things off here. Things are a little bit more stable. I didn't really achieve much of anything in this episode, I guess. <laughs> Did a lot of thinking. I'm Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, observing my thought processes, we'll call them. But for now, I think uh, everything's looking pretty steady. I don't... The problem is, too, to be honest with you, we're a little bit spread out. We're spread a little thin. I would like to really consolidate things a bit more. That could start by taking some of these counties from the Byzantines, but that might have to wait for a while. Uh, but for now, I think I'm just going to consider my options and uh, meet you guys up in the next episode. This has been Effing Controller, playing Crusader Kings 2. I'll catch you later.